Welcome back everyone. Thanks for joining me on this channel here. My name is Adam and this is Edmonton Vegan Outreach. Today we're going to be talking about that vegan teacher. She is huge on the internet right now and she's getting a lot of heat and a lot of response videos. So let's find out what my uh, response is to all of this kind of controversy. So that vegan teacher, 1.6 million subs on TikTok. She's got a massive following. She also has a YouTube channel, but it's not as big. And, but as she is pumping out the content every single day, she's calling out big names. She made a, a video about Isaac Butterfield, who is a strict anti-vegan. Uh, she's made a video about Gordon Ramsay the other day. He responded back. Eating animals is wrong, Gordon Ramsay. Hurting animals is wrong, Gordon Ramsay. Share this song. And if you call me a donut, Vegan donut. So she keeps on putting out these videos and she's actually getting some traction with it where people are responding back to her and they're getting that her message is reaching these larger platforms. So the ultimate question is, is, is it helping or harming the vegan movement by the fact that she's actually saying these inflammatory and sometimes uh, controversial statements like meat is murder and God was vegan and you might go to hell if, uh, if you're not vegan. This is what I think. Whether or not you agree with what she says, she's at least getting the veganism into the mainstream. She's talking about it, it is being received. People are actually talking, they may not agree with what she's saying, but they're actually engaging with what she said, which is the first step towards actually addressing an issue. If you just blindly go through life never hearing about something, well then nothing's ever gonna change. And you're because you're never gonna be, um, you're never gonna know about it. But she's making people know about it, and they have to now choose a side. Either they agree with what she says, or she they don't agree with what she says. And if you've been in the comment section on that vegan teacher's YouTube channel or any of these other response videos made mostly by teenagers, I've noticed um, people hate it. She gets thumbs downs like 90, uh, 95 percent thumbs down. Um, I, on the other hand, am that 5%, part of that 5% that puts thumbs ups. And this is why. I don't agree with everything she says. I think sometimes it's a little bit uh, inflammatory, but there's a purpose for that. And I believe she thinks this way as well. It is a strategy. Eating animals is wrong, Trisha Paytas. Hurting animals is wrong, Trisha Paytas. Share this song and change your entire life to be vegan from now on. There are a lot of vegans in the comment section I've noticed that say things like, oh, I'm so sorry guys, sorry sorry about that meat eaters. Um, what she's saying is very embarrassing. So, you know, just, just keep doing what you're doing. You know, I'll do me, you do you, and uh, just keep on abusing and exploiting animals. What kind of a message is that, that we're gonna be sending, right? As vegans, veganism is about avoiding as much harm, abuse, and exploitation as practical and possible towards animals. There is no reason in a modern day society, especially if you're commenting on YouTube channels, that you should not be able to be vegan. So I've been, what I've been doing is I've been going covertly onto these YouTube comment threads under my pseudonym of Edmonton Vegan Outreach and asking people, you know, what are their thoughts on veganism? Um, do they have a legitimate argument against veganism? A lot of people just ignore me, but there's a lot of people that actually do respond back. And you will not believe it is like the same 10 arguments over and over and over again. My thumbs have been hurting from, I, I might as well just been copy and pasting my responses because literally it's the exact same arguments. Oh, it's my personal choice. Really? Is it your personal choice to cause an animal to be slaughtered against their will? I mean, a personal choice to me is, you know, whether or not I'm going to wear a red shirt or, or a black shirt. Uh, that's, that, that involves no victim. However, when you decide you want to pay an animal to get stabbed in the throat so that you can have a five minute sandwich you're gonna forget about, that involves a victim and that is not a personal choice. And when I type in things like that on the comment thread, you would think that, oh my God, you know, they're just gonna block me and all kind of stuff. No, they actually engage back and they, they want to keep on going with more and more of the same arguments, you know, like, oh, it's a circle of life. Oh, we've been doing it for thousands of years. You've been watching my channel, you kind of know my responses to all these, these uh, comments. And if you haven't, 
please uh, subscribe, start watching through all the videos. I mean, I have, I've answered pretty much every one of those common fallacies 10 times over. So, I mean, they're out there. The, the, uh, the comment section is a very, very, um, the comment section is a very, very divisive area because if you're a vegan walking in there, you're, you're walking into the lion's den. But that's where vegans need to be right now. We need to be hitting up the comment section on these videos and calling out people on their BS basically because they are just putting out something out there for validation for their speciesism. We need to check them and be in, put them back in their place. We know the answers to these questions. And what else are you doing right now? Are we running cubes? Are we doing any kind of demonstrations during the lockdowns with COVID-19 still surging away? This is our new battleground. We need to be out there and we need to start telling these people online what our thoughts are. Maybe then we can start shifting the tide, okay? Vegan teacher, she's not gonna make people herself go vegan, I don't think. Maybe a handful. Who's really gonna make vegan uh, people go vegan? is the activists, the ones behind the screen that can start commenting on these videos. And I think she knows that as well. So my challenge to you is to get out there as soon as possible and start typing away. Yeah, plants don't feel pain. They don't have a central nervous system. They don't have a heart. They don't have a brain. Guys, girls, we know the answers to these questions, but you will not believe how many people actually throw these justifications out there unchecked. You and I, we need to put them in check. So that's all I wanted to say today. I mean, I think the vegan teacher or that vegan teacher is a positive thing because it provides unlimited opportunities for us to do outreach online. And that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm going to start hitting up uh, YouTube and, and Instagram again and make sure you hashtag all of your things. Make sure you save your actual threads. I want to see those comments. I want to see you put them on Instagram under you know the hashtag that vegan teacher, so you can show your successes in changing somebody's mind. I also had a conversation with another person there online. Um, he was making a reaction video, and he was a smaller channel, uh, probably I would say probably about maybe a hundred subs or so. No comments at all, except for mine. And he was obviously bashing that vegan teacher. So I just started the conversation with him. I said like, well do you have anything against veganism? Do you have a legitimate argument? And by the end of the argument, he went through and cycled through all of them. At the end, he said, you know, I'm, I'm probably going to uh, reduce my meat intake. And I for sure thought he was going to block me. So, I mean, success is happening online. You may not think it is. You think it's just full of a bunch of trolls, but you have to think about the person behind the computer reading your comment before they can respond. They're just people too. It's not an impenetrable wall. So we need to bring the fight online. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit the notification button so you don't miss a video. Thanks so much. Don't tell me you believe that. Aren't you just gonna take that? Hope you fight back.